Let's now start with preparing our first purchase book, our subsidiary book. Say the year is 2015. So on date, for once write 2015 year. So that you need not write it again and again. 1st February, what are the transactions? Purchase from Modi Enterprises, 5 torches at the rate 200 per torch, 2 gas lighters at the rate 100 per lighter, less trade discount at the rate 10%. So okay, 2015 1st February, we will be writing the name of the organization or name of the supplier from whom I am I have purchased on the top MS Modi Enterprises MS Modi Enterprises okay five torches at the rate two hundred per torch. So in the inner column you will write the amount thousand because I have one more item. Two gas lighters at the rate 100 per lighter. 200. Total becoming 1200. And now trade discount. Trade discount never recorded in books. Never take it to the final column. So less trade discount at the rate 10% that will be 120 and the final amount of purchases to be recorded in my books is 1080 okay now coming to the next transaction 2nd February purchased for cash from solar electronics 10 ton wire at the rate 1000 per ton. Now my question is do you record a cash transaction in your purchase book? The answer is no. All the cash transactions will be recorded in the cash book. So you have to omit this transaction altogether. If you record a cash transaction in your purchase book that is wrong. So next, I will just omit this transaction and move on to the other. 3rd February, from MS Millennium, Millennium Crafts on Credit, purchased computer with printer for rupees 60,000. Now computer with printer, I am not dealing with computers and printers. This is not my stock. If I don't deal with them, so what is it? Computers and printers are fixed asserts from me. Do I record fixed assert in my purchase book? No, I record only in purchase book the items from which I deal daily. I purchase and I sell those items or the material is forming a stock for me or a raw material. So the purchase of computer and printer which is an assert I will never write in my enter it in my purchase book. How can I enter purchase of an assert in my purchase book? It is not my day to day business to buy computers and printers. So now the next transactions 15th February. Purchased from Sharma Brothers two bottles of oil at the rate 50 per oil. Maybe used for greasing also. So 15th February I need to enter. First I will enter the party's name Sharma Brothers two bottle of oil. At the rate 50 per bottle and this comes to I can directly put it in the net 100 no more transactions so on 28 February purchases account debit Purchase has to be debited, right? 
the total is 1, 1, 8, 0. This is how you prepare your purchase book. The same way you have to prepare your sales book. See, instead of purchase book, you will have sales book on the top, the debit, the details and the party from whom you are purchasing in credit. The name should be written on top. Remember to record only credit purchase, only credit transactions are recorded in purchase or sales book no even if you are making sales book never record a cash sale in your sales book also neither will i record a cash purchase in my purchase book it should go to the cash book directly and just write the party's name on the top the description less the trade discount within the inside column take the amount outside and then also one more point to be noted don't enter any asserts purchase in your purchase book even if it is on credit because that is not the item with which i deal in my daily business only items which i deal in my daily business come in my purchase book and my sales book so sales book also now you can prepare very easily next move let's move to the next point